back to another reaction. This reaction is going to be The Handmaid's Tale. I am Andres Array, and you are here on the Andres Array channel. How are you doing? Um, I hope everybody's doing well. Do you guys like this gold microphone coming up from the air? Um, <laughs> I find different places to place this gold microphone because I am that annoying um i'm really excited to be getting into the handmaid's tale i have to give a big shout out to all the new subscribers that are coming to the platform absolutely thank you guys for being here thank you for showing support and checking out all of my reactions definitely i noticed there's a lot of new people coming and a lot of people are coming from the handmaid's tales and they're spreading out through the other videos and more onto this platform. Now, while you are here and you're checking out the scene here on the Andres Are channel, please know, know that I have another channel. That's right, Andres React. So the link is down below. Please just go over there and subscribe. We're gonna be bringing you a bunch of new content over there on that channel as well. It's going to be different content, but please subscribe and enjoy both platforms today absolutely please hit the like button share and don't forget to comment down below now if you want to see this reaction and all of my reactions in full reactions for length please click the link to the patreon okay absolutely and you guys will be able to see my full reactions patreon is a beautiful beautiful place um i hope all the patreon members are enjoying the patreon content as well as getting ready for some exclusive content we're going to be doing bodyguard episode whatever the holy hell it was i filmed it already so i can't wait to drop that as well so always on mondays i generally try to film the handmaid's tale um because it's like the kickoff of the week right absolutely um and i get really excited like i can't control myself so now we're getting into the handmaid's tale and after this is over i don't know what to do y'all but um we're getting into the handmaid's tale this is episode four mm -hmm. we're at the midway mark i'm thinking i'm thinking i don't don't hold me to it actually I take back what I was about to say. I was about to say, like, once we get to episode five, I was going to take one week break from The Handmaid's Tale and then work on other content because I hit that halfway mark and then we only have five more episodes to go of this season and then we're going to be done. So it's a, it's a strong possibility that I might do that, but I try to stop saying things that I'm going to do because I end up changing my mind at the last minute and I just go and do things so um we'll see what the holy hell happens i would like to take a, a just one week break of the handmaid's tale and just work on other content and um i will be actually working hard on pushing a lot more new content on my other platform so i have to find a balance with working full-time at a graveyard shift if you know what that is 12 a.m dreadful um but let's get into this i love doing this for you guys i love reacting and talking to you guys so once again shout out to all of the new subscribers you guys are amazing but i have to give a standing ovation to the people who have been here during season one episode one and even before the handmaid's tale thank you Thank you, thank you. The support and the love, I I have not forgotten and I will never, ever forget. I cherish it closely to my heart. Now, without further ado, let's jump into The Handmaid's Tale and find out exactly what The Handmaid's has got to give. She's with the call. Hi, June. Around 14 months. She's breathtaking. It's Nicole, right? How do you know? I always wanted a girl. Both of my pregnancies were boys. You're so lucky you were in Gilead. You don't deserve her, slut. Poor. Gilead! Fuck you! I didn't even think about what's gonna happen he takes a tremendous physical and psychological toll you were just protecting the toll it's gonna be all of serena's crazies it went a little past protecting it got physical is she all, all right <laughs> 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 I can stop it right now. do we know that um 
that you did, did she uh, get physical again? We don't yeah. know. I think it would be really difficult. What? Yeah. Ah! I strongly urge you to accept Canada's offer of asylum. I'm not an American citizen. My allegiance is to God. Then, Mrs. Waterford, you are officially released from custody of the American government. So what the fuck does that mean? Mr. Shaw will be my escort from here on in. Gilead has made all the arrangements. May he guide your steps. <laughs> Please, though, step carefully. This is a free country, Mrs. Waterford. Oh, this guy! You're home away from home. What's promising? She only has one bodyguard? Look who finally fucking shows up. <laughs> uh, my apologies. I'd up with internal debriefings. Internal debriefings about my kid. They were this close to her. You didn't do anything. What are you doing? Shut the we fuck up! The intel we've gathered. Don't start, bitch! Mrs. Waterford is no longer under our supervision. Gilead owns pre-war property in Toronto. Canada has decided to unfreeze this asset. Dorian will be in residence to represent Gilead's lifeways, advocate for their values. <laughs> Gilead, they want her to remain <laughs> visible to the world. Pregnant miracle. Yes. Get the fuck out of my house. I warned you about her. You won't listen. God, you're such a fucking disappointment. <laughs> Find out where that place is. I, I know this guy. I know a guy who works at the House of Commons. He's gonna help us. She always gets what she wants. Jonathan, don't worry. All right, we're gonna stop this. I'm not worried. <laughs> I love June. <laughs> I love her and I hate her. I hate you too. <sighs> June's about to do her big one, y'all. You know, she's a fucking psycho. The cotton. So she can kill any of these people, right? And like not be in trouble. June, don't shoot the shit in the car. Losing it. She's losing it, y'all. I can't stop her from driving. But if she sets foot on the property, keep you both safe, man. Thanks, man. Praise be. They should have brought a lot more people. Hey. Hey. I drove to her building like a fucking crazy person. Well, you were crazy. Okay. Capel is shooting her in the fucking head, and I don't know how to stop myself from actually doing it. I know they're trying to make it the new fucking Gilead, but. <laughs> There's no army. Building codes and neighbors and a fucking city council, all right? And we can use those things to shut her down. Let's say you shoot her in the head. All right, you shoot her in the head. What happens then? They take the coal from you. Can you let me try? I wouldn't trust anything you do because you suck. You no. are. These exercises are so no. important. Enough. Please stop talking about the Bible. My legs don't oh. work. All right, all right. Please stop talking about the Bible. My legs don't. Has to woken up yet? Serves her right. So wicked that she would kill her own sister deserves his retribution. I warned you about her. I gave her an opportunity to live a life of service and grace. Or else, live a life of service and grace, or else you would let her rot in the colonies. I gave you the education you needed. I know what you do, what you do to those girls, your precious girls. I see who you really are. I've still got one good eye, remember? I'm gonna take that one too. They work very well together, these two. Very well. I have Commander Lawrence on the secure line. Oh, excellent, thank you. Well, great news. Some of the other consulates have extended invitations. You or someone in your office has declined them. What? On my behalf. Why? Why overexert yourself? It seems that recognition efforts in South America have stalled. Gilead is the only country on the planet that has had an increase in life. Find the local ambassadors of that fact, perhaps with an afternoon tea. Formal conversation might be useful. Ooh. Over tea. Over tea. So, uh, anything else you want to chat about? Nocturnal visits from a certain local 
stop her. <laughs> She's just stomping her feet like a child. A child has been known to misbehave. Badly. <laughs> I'll take that under advisement. This came for you. Alfred? June. Don't. We can still stop this. How? With fucking building codes. Serena has the whole goddamn world behind her. No, she doesn't. She's gonna bring it here. The only way to stop her and to stop them is to put them all in the fucking ground. <laughs> Fuck! Yeah, look. Get into anything for four seasons. <laughs> what am I doing? What the fuck was that? <laughs> he has no idea what he's doing, and he seems to have completely forgotten that none of this shit worked the first time. This is a refugee town. An overcrowded one. And any of us make trouble, people start getting thrown in jail. We can't do that other stuff without bad shit happening to a lot of people. Look, I will dance on her grave with you. As soon as the dirt's in. I mean, that's good advice, but we well, don't want to hear it. This is who I am now. I don't worry about you being with her. Not anymore. I'm just gonna hang out here. Wow. Sounds good, Mama. And we can send a lovely gift basket to Germany. Yes, ma'am. Luke Bankhole is outside. He's asked to see you. What? Just a friendly chat between old acquaintances. A uh, Luke? Oh, God. We're going to have a whole thing on Luke. Have you checked him for any security concerns? Yes, ma'am. Of course. Let's check him again, please. <laughs> so, why are you here, Mr. Bankhole? There's a crowd of people outside right now that would love to see you shot down in the street. Quite the opposite. <laughs> I found 15 violations that could get this place condemned. Is that what you came here to tell me? <laughs> that we have issues with the plumbing here? <laughs> I also came here to tell you that my wife is gonna kill you. You can get kicked out. You could be killed. Or just... Help us get Hannah back. Who am I to question God's will? <laughs> you know, come to think of it, I do wonder why you never returned to Gilead to save your daughter. Risks, of course, which your wife took. Facts! And she suffered for them. Facts! Next support. I'm sure that gave you some <laughs> small comfort knowing that. Stay away from my family. You ain't gonna do shit, just like those building violations. Fortunately, Esther is the last of the girls to be under her influence. June. Mm -hmm. The world peeks inside at her handmade system. What's to say it needs to be running smoothly? Commander Lawrence, I have come to believe that the handmade system must be reformed. Commanders and wives would visit each month when it's time to perform the ceremony. Handmaid's Hotel, where you're the concierge? What are you smoking? No commander's gonna buy into that. Whatever the hell they want, get their rocks off. These are pious men. They need a little kink. The handmaid system, it's not changing. Not now. Just get a grip on your girls. Not too tight, though. Can't afford to show any scars right now. You must stay clear of the window for your own safety, Mrs. Waterford. I think we do three setups here and then we move to a window. We do three setups here and then we go to the window. You need a man to put you in your place. I don't see any men around here, so. Get the fuck back where you hey. Dude, take it easy, okay? Oh, shit! Oh, we are we supposed to go? What are you doing? Come on, come on. This Ezra guy is the worst. She could have just died right there. Ma'am, we found a secure location. For those who are truly righteous, he sometimes sends a refuge. Oh. Shit. Uh, I've got it. You don't think there's a reason behind it all? Uh. I should have listened to you about Esther. I need your help with the other girls. Who knows them? 
and understand them in ways that I do not. Tell me when any of them are struggling. Lydia, if I do, you'll just do something horrible. No, I want to do things differently. I want to address any problem early with more compassion. We can shepherd these girls together and keep them on God's path. She's gonna be a counselor now? God may test us body and soul, but he always rewards the most righteous. Oh, she's like the new June. Uh -huh. What Serena said to Luke was 100% facts. That's funny. Nice. Thank you. No, 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 thank you. The chief inspector in the fire department lost his sister in Gilead, shutting down the building for construction violations. Building codes. Oh, I'm so over Luke. Did you clean this? Uh huh. That's good. I didn't do it this time. I am not going to promise that I won't do it next time. I can't promise I won't either. You ain't gonna do shit. You don't have to promise. I'll promise for you. Do you wanna go inside? Not really. Oh God, I don't wanna do this. Where the hell is she? Please wait here. Where are we? Praise be. This Welcome lady. Your home. I'm Alanis, Mrs. Ryan Wheeler. Every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from the heavenly lights. We may be a kind of first fruits of all that you create. I like the song. If I break the chain. Booyah! Well, 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 full of wells and more wells. Um, so I think it's quite hysterical. Let me put this up because that's actually kind of like, I was like moving away from the microphone to try to be, put the microphone here with me. Um, but clearly only one diva could be in uh, the picture and it's not you, bitch. Um, <laughs> here for that. Um, this was an amazing episode. I like literally don't care what anybody says. Um, <laughs> so, oh my God, I'm always playing with this microphone. I don't want to see it in the video, but like I want it close to my mouth because clearly I think I'm not loud enough and I completely am. Um, Serena preached the word. I it, Somebody's like, what? Serena told Luke, I wish I could, I should have gone back, paused it, and that one part that she said to Luke, I should have played it over and over again so everybody understands why I don't like Luke. And vast, of people, vast majority of people who don't like Luke as well understands what I'm saying, but there are people that like Luke. <clears throat> and they don't, clearly I'm going through it. I was just drinking coffee, y'all. And it went down the wrong pipe. But people, people who like Luke view him much differently than you know, I do, which is completely fine. Absolutely fine. Everybody has their own opinions. So I absolutely hate Luke and I hated him in this whole episode. I think the couple of past two episodes, you know, me and Luke were, we're all, we were on good footing. Absolutely. Um, and then he was like, let me fuck this shit up. So he did, absolutely. And I cannot stand him. I just cannot. He tried to go over there with his, well, he did do, actually, let me shut up. Slap one for Luke um, because I thought Luke wasn't going to do, do anything with the code violations of the building. I thought he just went over there and just talk his talk, act like he was a tough man, just like he was with the gun in the car, the gun that he never used to go back to Gilead, just like Serena said, and to risk it all to try to save Hannah and his wife. He didn't do nothing. He 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 tried to be a uh, uh, diplomatic in, in a non-diplomatic situation. And I, listen, people could argue that it was better for him to do what his big one over there in Canada to try to help and save uh, save save Serena, save June, or say yeah, save June. But all what he what did he do in Canada, y'all? What got what got June closer to? being free what got june closer to being in canada what got june and hannah to be um away from gilead what got june to be away from being 
the R word, being abused, being beaten down? What got Hannah away from being brought up into Gilead? What did Luke do that got June closer to being on that boat? That 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 boat to freedom, honey. What did what did what did um not June do? What did um Luke do? Absol absolutely, y'all. Absolutely. Um, I want to know what did he do? The people are wondering. The wondering is for the people, and we are confused. So, as much as Luke talks about this, that, and the third, and whatever, blase, 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 he's done nothing, nothing. He, whatever he did, listen. If he did do something, he did something, and it didn't come. That's like me going into the kitchen right now, setting up the pots and the pans to make dinner. But, you know, I got the recipes, I got the ingredients, I called my friends, I told them, come over. I'm about to make a dinner, y'all. I'm about to make a scrumptious dinner. They come here, they all get dressed, right? Absolutely. They come over, and then they, I'm like, you know what? I prepped everything. I promise you, I prepped everything. I said I bought, I went to the store, I got all the ingredients, I set everything up to make the dinner, but then I got, I, I, I just didn't want to do it, y'all. It was too much, it was too much. So everybody came over for dinner, and I just ended up not doing shit. I prepared everything, but I didn't execute the plan, darling. Somebody's probably like, well, you're talking about cooking food and him freeing his wife. Absolutely. You see how I compare because I'm a fat ass? I'm always talking about food. I always have a comparison to talk about some steaks and some hamburgers and some hot dogs, some barbecue ribs, and I will bring it to the situation of any show that I watch because I'm always hungry. I'm actually starving right now. Um, so the point is, he went over there. Uh, uh, the standing ovation that, that he did do was shut down the building, but now, uh, Serena is in a household where her facial expressions seems like she's like, oh God, I don't wanna, she kind of looks like a handmaid. She's pregnant, right? He, Ezra brought her kind of like a handmaid to a family's house and the family is holding onto her stomach, the woman. I didn't think about it until right now. Like she was a handmaid and delivering her a baby. So Serena's probably like, what the fuck? Shit's crazy, y'all. Um, I love June in this episode. I understand June. I understood her best friend, whatever her name is, for some reason. I know it starts with an M. I just, it's left me at this moment. Um, so I was with it. Um, I just, I just, and then Luke's in the car with the gun and he's like, do you want to go inside? I'm like, um, no. And when I say no, that doesn't mean like, let's make out in this car, like get out. Um, where was it? Where was Nicole, by the way? Because she, her, the friend was over there and she got punched in the face. Nick, uh, Luke and uh, June are in the car, then had sex upstairs. Where's the daughter? Mm -hmm. um, so Serena's scenes in here, I really like Serena. So she really did her big one. I, I, I like Serena, not like her as the character. I like her as the, the lady who plays her. She plays her wonderfully, wonderfully. <laughs> I had to say it slow. And it was like, is that the word? <laughs> but she plays her really good. Um, the guy, the diplomat, I know that some people were like, yeah, he knows, you know, but I still am convinced that he actually likes her, um, Serena. And I feel like Serena did the big one and got over him. And then when I say got over him, like got one over him. And then he tried to rectify it by going over to June to make it all messy because he's messy. And like let you know like oh it's gilead it's not america you could do whatever you want but i still think if june like was like yeah i'll do what you say and like try to show interest in him she probably could get with him i think the story would be a lot different and that's just my personal opinion um i love aunt lydia and janine scenes i think those two actresses work amazing together um and i just love it and now it kind of seems like Aunt Lydia wants to be like a guidance counselor, like I guess. Um, but Janine telling Aunt Lydia straight up what type of person she is was amazing to see. Com uh, Commander Lawrence came in here. I love Commander Lawrence when he does his one twos. It's like he's Commander Lawrence is like constantly maneuvering 
and you don't really know exactly where his allegiance... Well, I feel like he's not for Gilead, but he's making sure he doesn't die because he was so close to being de dead and he's doing what he has to do to survive. But I think that he's not for Gilead. And I so for that reason, I just really like him. I like the character. Um, this episode, I would give a nine. It really was high stakes. And I really, as I more I think about it, I'm gonna do one more episode next week and then we're gonna do a break and then we're gonna wrap up the season. The break is only one week, y'all. It's gonna be one week and I'll focus on other shows. And that one week will go by quick. But for those that are here for The Handmaid's Tales, once again, please hit the like button, share, don't forget to comment down below, and, and subscribe to the other channel, y'all. We're gonna be doing True Detective, we're gonna be doing, um, what's that show called? Um, True Detective and Eve, Killing Eve over there, okay? So in the place of this show, I'm gonna do those two shows, okay? Um, and also, guess what? I did a poll, I asked y'all, what, what do you wanna do? And you guys voted. Let me look right now. So it's looking like with 451 votes that I'm gonna be doing True Blood here on this channel. So if you're for it, congratulations. If you're not for it, sorry, should have voted. Um, if you did vote, sorry. <laughs> but it's what it looks like. It's looking like True Blood um, with all these people uh, doing it. And then, you know, this could open up the door to Supernatural, um, the TV series, um, and other things. I did see a few episodes of uh, Supernatural, like, on and off in different seasons. Do I remember any of them? Absolutely not. Um, but it's just possibilities. That's nowhere near the line any time happening anytime soon. But I'm just throwing out the possibilities, possibilities to other shows now opening up because of this show. So this show is definitely going to be an amazing show. Um, and I'm super excited to be doing it. Also, just so you know, I'm not sure if you guys know as well, I'm doing Fargo on the other channel. Andres reacts. So definitely subscribe today, y'all. I'm super excited that you guys are here. I'm super, super excited to be giving you guys content. Love you guys all the way down. And I'll see you guys next time with more reactions. Bye.